The problems that we have to factor now are ones that have three terms. So these are called trinomials. So we want to factor these. We're still going to look for what the greatest common factor will be of all three of those terms. And it's always going to be the lowest power of X that you see. So in this case, the GCF I'm going to use is actually just going to be X. So I'm just going to take everything here and divide each of those terms by X. So I'll write it out so you can see what we're doing exactly. You're going to do X to the seventh divided by X. That's going to give you X to the sixth because, again, you're subtracting the exponents when you divide. Plus, the next one, we have X to the fourth divided by X. And that's going to be X to the third. And then finally, on the end over here, we have x divided by x, which is just positive 1. So this whole part up here, that's going to end up being your answer, x times the quantity x to the 6 plus x cubed plus 1. Let's do another one of those with the trinomials. All right, so this one, I have a 4 a 12 and a 32. I want to find the largest number that divides into each of those. So if we start with the smallest number, 4, 12 does, we can divide 12 by 4 and get an integer. We can take 32 divided by 4 and get an integer. So 4 is going to be part of my GCF. So what makes this different from the last problem that we did, we cannot pull out an X. And the reason why is because there's no X in the last term that we have here. There's X's in the first two, but not the last one. So I'm not going to be able to take an X out of all three of those. So the only thing I can do is just uh, factor out a four. Okay, so now we're going to do, if you have to get this, 4X squared divided by four is going to be X squared. Next, for the middle term, we have negative 12X divided by four and that's going to be negative three x and then the very last one over here i have 32 divided by four which 32 divided by four would be plus eight so this would be the the full answer four times all this quantity inside the parentheses and that's as far as you'll be able to go with that one one more down here, I have an 8x squared, 24x, and an 88. So all those would be divisible by 8. So I'm going to factor out an 8. Now, nothing else, again, I can pull out of that because there's two x's and there's no x in the last term. So 8 is the only thing that we're able to factor out here. Okay. Now, instead of writing all this out, you don't have to do that every single time. We can just think about what that would be. If I take 8x squared divided by 8, that's going to leave me with x squared. If I take 24x divided by 8, 24 divided by 8 would be 3. So I'd have a 3x here. Then 88 divided by x or divided by 8 will give you 11. And then that would be your answer. Again, you can always multiply back through to make sure you get exactly the same thing that you started with. So 8 times x squared, we get 8x squared. 8 times the 3x would give you 24x. 8 times 11 would give you 88. So we know we factored it correctly.